Hey guys, this is Simon here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you a simple editing trick in Final Cut Pro that can make all your drone footage look more cinematic and more dramatic and give it that special touch. What I want to show you today is to add a more dramatic camera movement to your drone footage. Let's take a look at what it looks like. As you can see the drone is kind of zooming in on the motorbike. Here there's a zoom and a change of position of the camera. And for the last clip, you'll see that the clip is kind of stretched out to create a more dramatic effect. Okay, so as you see, I've already added my clips in the timeline. One thing that's important for this effect is that if you're editing in 1080, at least film this in 4K or 2.7K, so that you have a little bit to zoom in on without making the video look all pixelated. For this clip, I wanted to zoom in slowly as it drives down the road. For that, I need to first set keyframes on the scale and the position so to make sure that it starts at its default values. I then go to the end of the clip and then I set what, the, what I want the new values to be. I think I'll try this to yeah, 127 just to really show the dramatic effects. And if you now look at the clip, if you keep an eye on the scale up here, as I move backwards, you'll see that the scale is slowly adjusting during the clip. If we now play it back, it zooms in and it has much more of a cinematic look, something you would see in movies. Let's play that again. In the next clip here, I want the camera to focus on the two farmers that are in the foreground and end up there. So I need to set, here I need to set the keyframe for both positioning and scale, because those are the values that I would like to change. Then I'll go to where I want the effect to end, which is about here. This time I'm going to change the scale. I'll do 125 again, just to make it overly dramatic. And I will also change the positioning so that the farmers are kind of in the center. If you see now, it's been adjusted here. If we play this back, you see how the camera moves kind of diagonally and it just has a much more dramatic look to it. Another cool way to use this is to put the scale to develop in the opposite way of your clip. So in this clip, we're flying forward and I'm gonna add some keyframes so that the image zooms out while we're flying forward. So then I have to set the keyframe for the default values at the end of the clip. Actually, I'm gonna make the clip a little bit shorter just, just to make the effect a little bit more dramatic. And if I here put both positioning and scale to 100%, because that's where I want the values to end up at the end of the clip. If I then go to the beginning of the clip and zoom it into, it's 230. I know it's, this is a bit exaggerated, but you guys will see. Change the positioning a little bit, just so that the volcano is in the middle. If I now play back the clip, you'll see that it gets very dramatic in the way that it's stretching out the picture as we're moving in. With these effects, you can obviously overdo it, and uh, I'm showing you a little bit more extreme version of it now, just so you understand how it works. But used in the right way, this could look really amazing. Now let's play that whole thing again with some music and a little bit of color grading. I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial and I hope it will help improve all your drone footage. As always, I'd love to see how you use this effect, so if you end up using it in one of your video edits, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or send it to me in a message. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to learn more about video editing or photo retouching, don't forget to subscribe. There will be a new video every week and I hope to see you next time.